So, using the deform tools, we click apply box fit. One, two, three. And there's your box. Okay? You're specifying exactly how wide and exactly how high you want that letter to go. You can go backwards. One, two, three. All right? So it gives you a lot of options there. I'm going to right click. I'm going to undo. There's my basic lettering back. The next one down here is called Arc Fit. It requires you to put in four points. One, two, three, four. All right? Every one is a left click. If I undo, arc fit, left click, left click, left click, left click. That's my arc fit. All right, undo. Next, I have distortion. Distortion gives me four points that I can manipulate, one in each corner. Left click and drag, and I can distort this lettering. All the points work independent of each other. You know how when we used our shear earlier? Well, be careful. You're not going to do something like this, even though it will let you do it, and it will try to generate stitches. This is not something you probably want to stitch out. So all four points work independent of each other. Next, we have perspective. It also gives you four points, but instead of working independent of each other, I, I, bet, it, I, I bet your machine didn't sew out very well either. Um, the, with, with perspective, I can grab a point, and it will move in conjunction with the other. So if I pull a point away, it's going to pull this point away. If I pull this one in, it's going to pull that one in. I like to refer to this as my megaphone. Okay? It's really simple, really easy. Perspective. Click and drag. Again, all using my left mouse button. Now, the next one is my semi-bridge. Okay? Semi-bridge gives me two curve points, one on top and one on bottom. They're independent points. So, I can click and drag and adjust one while the other one doesn't move, right? Or vice versa. I'm sure you've seen designs that look like this, okay? That is your semi-bridge. Each point is independent of each other. Now, the next one is your bridge tool. In my opinion, it's one of the better tools for arcing lettering. When you're arcing lettering, there's always going to be situations where you have letters that don't look right together. A's and T's, A's and W's, W's and T's, those kind of letters are very are notorious for not looking correct as far as the spacing goes. Well, the bridge tool, when you use that to arc your lettering, it keeps your lettering straight up and down. Okay? So, if your spacing was right, 
and you liked it when it was straight, it's going to be the same when you use the bridge tool. I use this quite a bit for doing the back of hats because I can very quickly and easily go in and adjust my arc for the different openings on the back of hats. Of course, I can reverse it as well, and I don't have to worry about the spacing on that also. Okay? That's your bridge. Next, I have arc distort. Again, I have two points. They work together. As I push it up, my letters turn and they distort. See how they're just starting to distort across the top? Okay? That's your arc distort tool. Usually, the only time I'm using arc distort is if I'm matching somebody else's artwork. Globe. Globe gives me four points that I can manipulate and turn into a globe. Alright, it's my earth globe um, style. But what the points work together. If I pull this down, that goes up. If I pull this out, the other one goes out. You know, going back to things we can do but shouldn't. Alright? And finally, the last tool down here is cylinder. Cylinder is my roll-up. I only have one point on each end. They're curves. They work together. And I click and drag to the left or to the right. I don't really go up or down. I just go left or right. And it makes my lettering appear to roll around a bar. All right? That's your cylinder tool. Now, again, all these tools work great. I use them quite a bit. All of a sudden I realize I don't like that font. I highlight it, change it to something different. Guess what? All that distortion that I just did went away. So just keep that in mind when dealing with, with your deformed tools across the bottom.